morning guys i decided to put on a little workout outfit this is my new um jacket that i thrifted recently here and then my nice old headband um i'm going to head to the park i don't know maybe do like an out workout stretch just like move my body it's kind of early too which is nice it's 7 30 so i've got a lot of time in the day and i want to start it off right with the workout I know I mentioned it in my why I left school video, but recently, I would say within the past year or so, I've been really struggling with anxious thoughts and just sort of how to cope with them. I've tried a lot of different things, but one thing that kept coming up in my readings and things that people have told me was to try meditating. And I was always a bit skeptical, but I honestly got to a point where I was willing to try anything. So I've started trying to meditate. It's not every day, it's not for very long, but I just think creating that habit of meditating and sort of training your body to slow down to focus on your breathing is super important i found that i prefer doing it outside just because the sun and the fresh air are very calming for me but whatever works for you is great but yeah i don't know i just i've been trying to incorporate more healthy habits and i think meditation is one that is both physically and mentally healthy so i'm trying to make it a habit try like a really slicked back bun and maybe clips if like the pieces come out. I hope it's not too echoey in here. Okay, sunscreen every day. So important. Now that I'm clean, I need to pick out an outfit. Let's look at the weather. It's literally pretty much been the same weather every single day, like mid 60s in the morning and then 70s. It's a high of 78 today. It's already 70 degrees. That's pretty hot. This was my first outfit idea, but then I realized like, I'm not sure about the like rules or like customs of cathedrals here. And like, I feel like it's usually respectful to like, cover your shoulders and such. So I might change my top to a new one I just got. Cause I just, I don't want to have to worry about that, you know? And I want to be respectful, of course. But come on, some appreciation for the top. Isn't it so sick? This is one of my most recent market finds. I just think it looks so good in like the lower waisted skirt. Love it. But it was actually baking soda. I just put on there. I don't know why I thought it was salt. Anyway. I think I'm gonna be like a little bit narcissistic today when I'm filming. I don't know why I feel like I look so different. Anyway, I just finished breakfast and now we're gonna head out. And it's pre 9 30. I think that's pretty good. So. We're gonna go to like the main or one of the plazas or squares or whatever, El Centro. And I don't know, do a bunch of How cute is this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Since I didn't have class today, I decided to make it sort of a touristy day where I checked off a lot of the like traditional things to do in Valencia. So I started by heading to El Centro and first headed to La Plaza de la Reina. And in that sort of plaza, there's a bunch of shops and restaurants and things like that. There's also on one side a cathedral and the cathedral has this tower. It's called El Micalet. And you can pay, I think it's two euro 50 to climb this spiral staircase all the way to the top of the tower. And then you get this 360 view of Valencia from the sky. It's so beautiful. It's totally worth the money. And I don't know why, it just felt so like special to be up there and just see the whole city. And I don't know, I think it's like just such a cool perspective to sort of see it from the sky. After that, I headed back down and enjoyed a croissant. It was like a Biscoff cookie flavor, which is not what I had thought it was, but it ended up being pretty good. And it was good sustenance because I did a lot more walking today. I'm 
back. I'm trying not to be mad at myself for spending so much money, but I went to a used bookstore. This is what I've saved for, and I'm gonna treat myself, and I'm gonna buy things that make me happy and will remind me of this wonderful trip, and cute things like this, and delicious things like pastries. Let's be clear, I don't have a coffee table, and I don't really have any plans to have a coffee table, but a really good collection of coffee table books that I've collected from places all over that I've traveled to. I'm gonna try this part in Spanish. Y yo compré este libro. Se llama España desde el cielo. La mayoría es fotos, pero son muy muy bonitas. Y sí, no sé. Mira, las vistas son locas. I'm gonna regroup here for a little bit and then head back out to the park. I kind of have some like, I think of it as like admin stuff, some college related things and then some like internship related things. And by that I mean cover letters because I've written like seven cover letters already in crickets from those companies. So I found a few more internships that I would apply to and it was a little bit late in the game. Vamos a ver. Okay, that's it. I got my lunch. I also, I have something on my shirt. It was when I grabbed the balsamic vinegar. So it's either balsamic vinegar, which will continue to like show up on my shirt or it's water, which will dry. Cause then I put water on top and then it looked the same. So. All right, now I'm off. I always have to make sure that nothing's on in the kitchen. I can't forget the gas stove. It's off. Right now I'm alternating back and forth between my cover letters and my videos that I'm editing. Neither of which is like really super exciting, but they both need to get done, so. It's like 8.30 right now, which is absurd because it's completely bright out, but I just kind of feel gross. I left the park and I was considering going somewhere else and I was like, I don't know, I've had a busy day. Like I've spent a lot of time out of the apartment and I keep having to remind myself that it's totally normal to like spend time at home on like a regular basis. I don't know, there's something about being in a new city that I feel a pressure to spend every waking moment exploring and doing something new and exciting and like, that's great. But I also spent like six hours today out of the house. So it's totally normal to just want to like relax. I don't know, I just put a lot of pressure on myself for stuff like this, but it's stupid. And I also have a bunch of plans for this weekend. So I'm just resting up, you know? I'm gonna go to bed soon.